This conference will now be recorded. So the topics that we are going to cover here, we will see multiple specifications, multiple specifications overview, options for using multiple specifications. Okay, uh, what are the different options available? You will see that use multiple specifications in inspection planning so how these multiple specifications are used during the planning activity object types and objects for multiple specifications what are these object types and our different objects which are used during multiple specifications you will understand that inspection planning for uh, multiple specifications then planning and processing we will see both then we will see customizing settings for multiple specifications so uh, these are the topics we will be covering in the multiple specifications okay so uh, we'll start with uh, multiple specifications so a uh, different inspection specifications are required for an inspection characteristic in quality management i'll explain this so basically these different specifications may include customer requirements requirements specified by pharmacopoeia or authorities or country specific legal requirements or sometimes internal requirements so basically what happens is sometimes different customers will have their own requirement own specifications or sometimes according to the legal authorities of a country they may have different requirements, different specifications for the same MIC. So during those kind of scenarios, we will be using this multiple specifications. Okay, I'll just give you one example. Let's say uh, you are producing a product. Okay. You are producing a product. Okay. And this product is once after manufacturing, it is exported to some countries. Let's say you take uh, USA. Okay. USA and let's say you are exporting it to UK okay and let's say Singapore okay. and let's say uh, Germany okay. now you are you are producing the product after producing the product let's say the you are checking the pH value so normally the pH value limits are let's say from 0 to 40 but this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit but the country says usa country says for us the ph value should be from 6 to 12. same product same mic they says they want their their value should be from 6 to 12. okay and usa uk says they their uh, for them the, they will accept only the product if the ph value is let's say from 8 to 8 to 30 to 30 and singapore says we accept only when the ph value is from 2 to 10 only okay. and germany country they says for us the ph value should be only from 4 to 9. 4 to 9. so here different countries have their some different requirement for the ph value so in this case we cannot create multiple mic's multiple ph mic's okay so in those kind of scenarios we will be using this multiple specifications multiple specifications specifications okay so we will have a only one common mic common mic with that mic using this multiple specifications we will be uh, configuring these ranges and all okay this is one example i have provided okay sometimes customer also may have different requirement okay i just provided the example by using country sometimes different customers will have their own requirement okay so that's during those scenarios we will be using the multiple specifications during the planning of a material or a batch additional information is often required about the suitability or authorization of goods so that's what so when you when you do the planning according to the requirement you will plan the uh, particular activity okay 
the, this criteria is formed in inspection plans in the SAP system using multiple specifications depending on different objects such as country, customer, pharmacopoeia and so on. So here, here our criteria, here the object is country. Here, in this case, the example which I gave, the object is country. Based on the country, we are, we are having multiple specifications. For USA, different specification. For UK, different specification. For Singapore, different specification. For Germany, different specification. Okay. So let's continue. So we will now uh, see how it happens. So basically during the planning, during the inspection planning, you will maintain the multiple specifications. I will show you this in the system. I will show you this in the system. Okay. That means you will maintain all the data during the planning in the inspection plan and everything. Okay. And then you will create inspection lots. Okay. So when you create inspection lots, this multiple specifications will get transferred to the inspection. Lot. Okay. And after that, you have the results recording. So when you do the results recording, this multiple specifications will get displayed displayed for each characteristics displaying the multiple specification for each characteristics and also here you can do the results recording and there will be automatic valuation of the multiple specification system will do the valuation okay and during the usage decision next one usage decision same thing you will you will be able to see the all the objects and you can display the valuation which is done in the results recording and then you can do the again here final valuation okay and even you can transfer the results to the batch classification and based on that if required you can do the certificate printing okay so this flow we will see it in the system okay so before uh, uh, checking in the system we need to understand object types and objects for multiple specifications okay so object type the object type controls the suitability of a batch for an object based on multiple specifications okay so basically object type based on what you are going to control multiple specifications okay you must assign a control key to the object type and this key determines whether the batch classification should occur based on the customer or the country or some other object okay the following three object types are delivered in the standard system customer country and pharmacopoeia these are the object types based on which you want to control so the example which i explained that is here the object type is country object type is country basically object type country so let me show you this in the system let me go to the system i am logging into the s4 hana system So let me go to SPRO first. Let me show you the SPRO. Go to SAP Reference and Machine. Okay. Scroll down. Go to Quality Management. Okay. Then go to. Then go to Quality Planning. Okay. Go to Quality Planning. Then go to Inspection Planning. Okay. Then open the general node and here you see there is a node called multiple specifications. So here if you open this here define object types for multiple specifications. So if you go here, here you have three object types. You see here country, customer and pharmacopoeia. Okay. So if you want to, if you want to have a new object type, you can create a new object type. So these three country, customer and pharmacopoeia, these are delivered with the standard SAP system. Okay, so these are the ones. The following three object types are delivered in the standard system. Okay, so let's continue. Now, next one is the objects. So for each object type, each object type, you will be creating the objects. So let's say country, for the country, let's say Germany, Spain, those things. For customer, you create enter the cust different customers and pharmacopoeia like European pharmacopoeia, 
यूएस फार्माकोपिया इंडियन फार्माकोपिया दो थिंग्स यू कैन एंटर ओके सो बेसिकली यू हैव द ऑब्जेक्ट टाइप्स ऑब्जेक्ट टाइप्स लाइक कंट्री फार्माकोपिया कस्टमर एंड फॉर दिस ऑब्जेक्ट टाइप्स यू विल बी क्रिएटिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक जर्मनी इफ इट इज अ कंट्री देन जर्मनी स्पेन यूएसए यूके दो थिंग्स ओके so let me show you this this is basically configuration so let me go back in the in the system so we now we understood object types now we will see the objects so let me go back here define objects for multiple specifications so if you go here you see here here okay so you see here four countries are defined 